Warm Welcome, Markus Termin, Astrologisches Stundenbuch, Astrological Horary Book. It's the 11th of October 2023. The Moon is in Virgo. Sun, of course, still in Libra. The Moon is slowly approaching its new Moon position, which will be a sun eclipse in Libra and will be most important for Librans and other cardinal signs and it's going to be visible in the US. Um, this is the basic situation and then something happened this morning, Middle European summertime, Mars changed signs from his exile uh, position in Libra. He's not at home in Libra because he's at home in the opposite side and Mars has a day sign and Mars has a night sign and the night sign of Mars is actually the female sign of Scorpio. It entered Scorpio now so Mars is one of the house rulers being in his own sign. How many planets do we have right now in their own signs? It's just two. It's Mars in Scorpio, water sign, female water sign Scorpio. Water means feeling. Um, and um, the second planet in its own sign is Neptune, of course, being retrograde at the end of Neptune. Well, as soon as Mars enters Scorpio, he forms a trine to Saturn in Pisces and Saturn in Pisces is retrograde. So what does Mars do? Mars is helping Saturn retrograde in Pisces, dissolving orders, you know, getting things uh, to, to, to the melt point, to melt it down, to, to have things flowing, to disrupt stable situations and actually this is what we are watching worldwide obviously and um, on a personal matter and this is what our little video is about what could we do with this and this is my most important aspect of the day Mars approaching it's going to be exact tomorrow not today but the approaching energy is the stronger energy when it's approaching the trine to Saturn. How can we use this aspect on a private level to get something positive out of it? And that's easy to say. If you have things that you want to dissolve, like uh, anything of, of um, a situation that needs to, needs to um, put on new feet, needs to be put on new feet. And before you do that, you need to dissolve the situation. Now, this is the possibility to do it with Mars depths and strength in the sign of Scorpio to dissolve something, to say, no, we're done with that. We need a new order somewhere and we're going to use Mars forces, deep forces, emotional forces to get rid of an old order that we actually don't want. This of course can be used on a positive level. It can be used on a negative level just as well. Astrology is not um, in f at the first hand giving the possibility of um, moral um, self-government or moral world government. It can be used by anyone. And it can be positive to dissolve an old order and it can be negative. Now, last I want to tell you today is Mars in Scorpio. Is he a nice guy? If you know persons with Mars in Scorpio on a personal level, of course, Mars in Scorpio can be as good as any other Mars. Mars in Scorpio will be strong and on the personal level Mars in Scorpio will always be a matter of sexual interest. First, um, but, but then there's two possibilities or even more than two possibilities again. It depends on the position, it depends on the aspects of the other planets. Um, like if somebody has Mars in house six, you know, 
he will work hard like shit. You know, he will do things that that make him hard working. Mars in Scorpio. Um, but on the other hand, um, talking about the sexual matters, it also depends on the houses. And then there are the two possibilities of living it all. And the second possibility is to go in the opposite of it, to be almost pure and ascetic, you know, because it just jumps over to the other side, which is possible with Mars and Scorpio, of course, too. Mars and Scorpio might be a nice Mars, but if you have an opposition to it, it's not a good Mars for you. And we have to look at your chart. Maybe your own Mars is in the sign of Taurus. And then you get into a Mars opposition with Mars in Scorpio. That's the reason why we have to have a look at your personal chart. Generally speaking, if somebody asks, for instance, is Mars in Scorpio a good date, a good time to do something like a, <clears throat> like an operation, like a surgery, you have to do things like that, you know. Actually, yes, we still have to look at your own Mars, but the first answer is actually no. It's not a good period. Mars in Scorpio in this sense is, uh, though it's all planets are kind of neutral, but whenever Mars in Scorpio, it's a time where you have to fear you know, a second hit, you know, something like you didn't think of, um, something deeper than your own calculation. Um, Scorpio, after all, is the sign of transformation and Mars in Scorpio puts all its forces in there for transformation, for good or for bad. So the only thing that we really can do is get our own plan of transformation and, you know, ride this dragon, you know, don't let let it hit you, but ride it. This is my advice for today. Mars in Scorpio, Markus Termin, Astrologisches Stundenbuch, Astrological Horary Book. It's the 11th of October 2023. Just in case you need or want a consultation, I'll be happy about that. Get in touch with me and use the email address above. You'll find the conditions of a consultation down here in my blog homepage. And in case you don't like that, just give me a comment, a thumb up, a heart or something like that for the algorithms to be pushed upwards. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow.